Good morning, everyone. Uh, Dave can't be here today, so he's kindly asked me to give an update on FACE. So last week we did let everyone know that the finances for FACE, which supports scriptures in school, is at an urgent... Um, yeah, urgently needs some funds. So I'm going to update you on what's been happening. Firstly, thank you to those that have given. Um, and for those that don't know what FACE is about, I'll, I'll give a little explanation. And then, I mean, I can't talk from Dave's position, but I do know a lot of things that he helps me with as an unpaid scripture teacher. So I can share that with you as well. But I encourage you to uh, read the brochure that was in at welcoming um, and I would encourage you to talk to Dave about what the paid coordinator role actually entails. Um, we know Dave is leaving in six months so to go through the recruitment process um, with being in the red uh, is not going to be helpful so we really really need to be um, yeah, asking God for help with what's happening at the moment. Um, so I am on the FACE committee um, and representatives from FBC are, are Cody Hartwig and also Russell and myself and Dave. And then we have all the other churches um, represented as well. Um, so what is FACE? Can we have the slide up? So FACE is a Forbes Association for Christian Education. So it's an interdenominational Christian association with the mission of bringing the gospel of Jesus Christ to the children and youth of Forbes through scripture in schools. Uh, we're currently active in Forbes. The, well, Forbes is two primary public schools and the high school, which is awesome. And then we're also um, in Bajerabong and Ugaura. So that's, so the face is the committee of all the churches that come together to pray, um, keep all the churches updated with what's happening um, in scriptures in schools and to financially um, come up with fundraisers and, and um, yeah, try and keep the paid position afloat, basically. Um, and then, so, what was the next slide? Okay, so some of the fundraising that FACE uh, do. So we have had a barbecue recently um, and we do have some save the dates, which is really exciting. So we've got a bush dance coming up with the Kelly family. Uh, so if you can pop that date in your calendar, the 1st of September, that will be a really fun um, evening um, for the whole family and that all those proceeds will go to FACE. So, and there'll be a church bake off that is going to happen across all churches in Forbes focused on um, the face fundraising uh, and bringing glory to God for scripture. So those details will come shortly. Uh, so that's a bit about what face do. Um, so for us as scripture teachers, there's Dave, Katie and myself. We also have teaching in schools, Jess Woodley, and we have Linda as well. So we are a little bit light on with teachers, but, um, and, but that because we have a paid coordinator, Dave actually goes in and fills in a lot of the classes that the unpaid um, teachers just can't um, commit to at the moment. So a really exciting part of um, scripture is that has started for the last two years is giving out Bibles to all year six students. So we've had permission within the schools, which is another thing Dave does. He actually talks and keeps that relationship positive um, with the schools. So he has actually got permission off all of them to give Year 6 Bibles out as they head into high school, which is really encouraging. Um, so that's something else that we do as a regular outreach now, and thanks to the supporters um, who have actually sponsored Bibles to go into the school, so that's awesome. So that's another way that we can feed the God's Word into the school um, as Scripture teachers. Uh, what was the next one? All right, so as we know, FACE urgently needs $6,000 to quickly get up into our safe zone. We are so thankful and grateful to you guys and to God because we have received some, but we still need more. Um, and we need regular uh, giving also to maintain this position in the future, especially with the recruitment process coming up soon. So I wanted to share with you some encouraging stories from in the classroom. Um, and... 
I'll start with a story from um, a little boy that came up to me after class and said, Mrs. Austin, I really think what you're saying is true and that God is real. He has to be. I want to follow him. And the next week, this child also came up and said, Mrs. Austin, how do I know if I have the Holy Spirit? And I asked him what he thinks. He said, well, I really want my friend to come to scripture. She doesn't come along and she must come along. I'll tell her to. And I said, well, that sounds like you want her to hear the good news of Jesus. And he said, yes, I do. And I asked him, so what's the Holy Spirit? It's a, and I told him that it's a gift from God once you believe in um, Jesus and uh, the Holy Spirit is, yeah, your helper. Um, and I asked him again, do you think you have God inside of you, loving you, encouraging you uh, to live for Jesus and to share who Jesus is? And he said, I do, don't I? And I said, yes, it sounds like you've answered your own question. So I, I got to, it was beautiful, I got to lead him to answering his own question and he realised that he was following Jesus and he actually wanted people to know who Jesus was. So, yeah. Another one. Um, I love sharing these stories cause, and I love hearing them when people share them with me. So I hope you guys do as well so you can be encouraged with the work that's happening. Um, so the next one. Uh, the class curriculum uh, had us teachers share how we came to faith and how we came to know who Jesus is. We were focusing on um, the Bible and its history and what it actually tells us. Um, and I told my class of around 50 children, because I do big stages of kids together, um, that I read the Bible with a friend. And I read the Gospel of Luke and the Gospel of Mark. And... God opened my eyes to see Jesus is real. He saved me from my sin and I believed in him and now I follow him. And that's why I come to the school to teach all of you children about who Jesus is so that you can put your trust in him and believe. And it's called the Great Commission. Um, then a girl from the back raised her hand and yelled out, I believe too. And I asked, well, how did you come to know Jesus? And she said, because you told me and we read it in the Bible and now I read my Bible at home. And then another random kid shot their hand up and said, I believe too, Mrs. Austin. And again, he said, because we learn about it, him in scripture. And it continued with a few students um, popping their hand up and, and confessing that they believe as well. The bell actually went. Um, and then we were just led to pray. So I prayed for the children that had declared their faith in Jesus and for those that were still learning. So... Um, and that they would grow in their love and understanding of who Jesus is. Um, I'll share one more. I'll just do one more. <laughs> I was walking um, Hope to Link Up. I wasn't working because um, I am in the school in my chaplain role and I wasn't teaching because I'm in the school for the teaching of scripture. I was just in the community. And a little girl came up to me from year two who's one of my students and said, Mrs Austin, look what I have. And it was a Bible. And I said, that's awesome. Where'd you get it? And she said, I borrowed it from the library. And I went, oh, I didn't even know that we had the Bible in the library. That's really cool. And I said to her, do you want me to um, get you your own Bible? And I said, just check with mum. She was in the canteen. So, um, and mum said, yep, sure, of course you can have a Bible. So she got handed her very own Bible from the stash that we have um, to give out to the Year 6 students. So that was really, really cool. So I asked her what she had been reading and she'd been reading Genesis. So I um, said, that's awesome. Don't forget to check out the Gospels of Mark and, and things like that. Um, but right after that, um, a week later, uh, a tragic event happened to one of her close family members a week after receiving the Bible. Tears of joy. And I often thank God for the sovereign hand over this and pray he finds, she finds her solid foundation in Jesus and comfort in his precious words through this. So that was, yeah, tears of joy. Um, his timing is amazing. And I'll finish up with prayer if I can. Yeah, all right. 
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for scripture in schools. We thank you for the beautiful children that hear your word. Father, we, um, yeah, we need your help. We need, um, yeah, we need finances, Father, and we know you are a good, good Father and you will provide for us. Please um, sustain scripture in schools, Father, and um, this paid position through your beautiful church and the body of Christ. And we thank you for the funds that we do receive and the support and the prayer. Um, uh, you are just such a good, good God. And, um, yeah, we pray that all these children... Know they are loved by you um, and trust and believe in you. And we pray for Dave as he um, coordinates all the scripture across um, these schools. And we pray for the scripture teachers as well, that they continue to persevere um, through classes each week, uh, proclaiming the good news of your beautiful son, Jesus. Amen. <laughs>